Hello. Oh, I think the music might be coming through twice. Oh, now you can hear me. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I see what I did. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to have to cut out, like, the first five, like, minutes. We always do. It's always something doesn't work. Hello? Oh, I can't hear you, Marilis. One second. Apparently, everything's being a jerk today. There we go. Um, can you hear me now? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I, I have to up my output volume on Discord so I can hear you louder and so you'll show up louder as well. Say something. I think the music's louder than it needs to be. We don't need music. It's okay. Shut it off. Psh. I just thought I'd try to set up a vibe and like it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Can you say something? Say hi. Menelaus. Say Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. We'll keep talking so I can calibrate your audio. <laughs> I'll keep talking. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give you a forewarning that I am very sick right now. I have a fever, and I am. I saw you post it. I have a fever, and I am. I am at that point of the fever where I'm like simultaneously I'm really cold and like really hot. Where I'm like simultaneously. Where I'm like simultaneously. But. Where I'm like simultaneously. But. Where I'm like simultaneously. Okay, I think. But. Her volume. Where I'm like simultaneously. Okay, I think. Oh, I just realized it's on a repeating loop. Because <laughs> I was trying to hear it from like the real. Stream. Blah. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm so sorry you're sick. That's awful. Boo. Yeah. Thank you. I, I'll be okay. I might sneeze and cough a bunch. <laughs> no worries. I literally, that was the first thing I put on the, um, on the stream, on the, on the text was, grab your drinks. <laughs> we'll be on in a minute. <laughs> so. Also, I figured out chroma key. I don't know if you're looking at the stream, but like, chroma key. So I can actually be on the screen and not go over the um, the book, the images on the screen. Blah. Wait, is it my audio shut off? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have my coconut water. <laughs> What do you have to drink, Melius? 
You... Oh, that's good. I was going to say, you're going to talk and you're sick and you don't have a drink? Tut, tut. I said, shut up my volume, so I should turn up. Oh, there you go. I just realized that the audio was off for you. But that's okay. We just talked about drinks. Um, so, um, we're, let's see, finishing off section three of, what are we, chapter three now? Chapter two. No, we are on chapter three, the gods. So we're finishing up the uh, section three of chapter three, which is the remainder of the Pantheon. We are on foreign gods, and we're going to go through... Good thing I write things down because I forget shit all the time. Uh, 3.4 and 3.5. Um, just to finish up that chapter 3. And then next week on the 11th, we're doing chapter 3, section 4. The special character of Greek anthropomorphism. Which I'm very interested to see who that is. Um, because I have no idea. I'm actually going to put this in the chat here as well um, because uh, important information so we're getting along and let me go to that page on our on the book it's 250 right yeah 250 okay so I had notes for a lot of this <laughs> and I actually realized let me put up the chat over here your whole family got sick right Menelaus yeah the whole family got it so well, how are the little ones? all of us the little one is okay she's uh Probably the like, best out of all of us. I was just about to say that. I feel like sometimes the kids get fat, get better faster than the parents. <laughs> Legit was about to point that out because my little brother's the same way. He got yeah. <laughs> he got better like super fast by comparison to like everyone else in my family when they had COVID. I should say I'm talking about COVID because that's the most recent. thing. Yeah, I tested COVID. negative for COVID, thankfully. So just oh, a bad cold. Goodness. I think the thing that I'd be scared that scares me the most about potentially getting it is the fact that it alters like the food taste thing, and I'm really <laughs> that mm, that matters to me a lot. <laughs> so okay, um, I did not. I need my second screen is just not as big as the first one. Um, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my notes on the side of the page so I can just look over here, mainly. Oh, my notes are so tiny now. Uh, so there was, I know we have had some deities that we've already talked about before in gods, like um, Dionysus is like just the, the one to bring up, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there were a few in here that I didn't think about as far as um, being foreign gods. Hold on. I'm wearing hoop earrings and headphones, and it kind of hurts, so... The earrings go off. I'm going to have to get earbuds so everyone can see my pretty earrings. Um, I, I dress to be witnessed by the universe, my friend. <laughs> I normally do, but not t today of all days. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had you on camera, actually. I don't know if you don't like being on camera or not. I do if I'm, like, dressed for the part. So we have, have like, my makeup done and stuff. Then I want to be on camera, but... I know, I think that was, like, the first picture I have ever seen of you. Oh. We just, okay, I should catch people up who, who aren't on the Discord. Hold on. So, for Halloween, Samhain, etc. I think there was another one, but I forgot. Um, we did a costume contest for those who wish to post their selfies in the Discord server. Only in the Discord server. And um, somebody won. But I got to see pictures and faces of people that I haven't seen before. Yeah, I posted. Yeah. I posted two pics. I put po both of them are, are older pics. One of them I was eighteen, and one of them I was twenty four, and I'm thirty one now. So, but I haven't. I didn't dress up in anything exciting this year. 
I also didn't realize that you were younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to ask Astrid if, if, if they are comfortable sharing with me. I'd like to know how old Astrid is because I think Astrid's older than me. But I think, am I the oldest person on the mod team right now? <laughs> That we know of? I think B is younger than me, too. I think she's considerably younger than me. Yeah, I think she's like 24 or something. <laughs> yeah, she's super young and she's going for like her master's or doc. No, I think it's her doctorate. Yeah, I think it's her doctorate. Because I was, I, w I was flaunting my amazing friends from the server to my grandmother the other week. And I was telling her about B um, and about her thesis and yeah i'm pretty sure she's getting her doctorate that's amazing we have really cool people on the server you guys are awesome um actually i also forgot something that i was supposed to, i was gonna do before we got into the um text so let me just do that for a second um we had wait who tagged me oh you did no astra did that was astrid thou shalt not ask a lady her age i love it that's great and here, awesome. Are you, I just want to know? I just want to know, Astrid. Are you older than me or younger than me? Like that's all I want to know. <laughs> um, I don't know. That depends on how old you are. I'm 34. I just turned 34. I am younger than you. Is everyone on the team younger than me? I mean, I'm okay but being not, the den mom, but like, not by much, hon. You've only got three years on me. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know how much. I just asked how old younger. Um, I, don't, I mean, Menelaus isn't that much younger than me either. I got, I got three years on you too. Um, yeah. I just, I feel like I'm getting to that age where I'm, I'm, I'm becoming the older person in the room, and I'm like, oh no, no, no. I'm, I, I need a, no, I need an adultier adult. Like it can't be me, you guys. <laughs> like, no. Um. Let me, uh, by the way, Astrid, how do I look on the stream? <laughs> you look fine. Like, do, do we like this new chroma key thing? Should we play with this more? Sure. It's up to you. <laughs> I care about your opinion and your thoughts. I genuinely do. Um, I understand that. And I genuinely care about your agency and independence. Aww. You're so awesome. Um, okay, hold on. Before we, we'll spend the entire time. You guys know me. Um, I wanted to do a little announcement, because we do have people that actually find us on here, so I wanted to get do our, our little beginning of the month. First off, we do have, including me, three members of the mod team on right now, and thank you guys so much! Wait, no, I'm only, dude is the wrong one, though I'm not supposed to. Anyway, Thank you so much for um, being our mod, and especially uh, Astrid, because you're both our Discord mod and our Twitch mod, and we we stream like twice a week, so that's a lot. So thank you. Um, and Welcome. Yes. Yay. Um, and also we have volunteers that uh, like our our monthly diviner. Um, and I might be bringing back divination streams, maybe, just because I have three decks now and they're just sitting and like being sad. Um, but until then, we do have a monthly diviner within the uh, Discord community, and we are doing an Ares ritual and gladiator fight on November twelfth, and we're still open for warriors to come and join us and in the in the Minecraft server be able to fight. I will also, for that day, be fighting probably in VR, so I'm going to get very scared very quickly. So everyone should join and, and laugh at me, um, because it's going to be really awesome. And that was it. That was the only thing I wanted to... Are you guys going to sign up to be warriors? You don't have to, but... Menelaus and Astrid. Astrid, it... Sure, why not? I'm aggressively competitive, so sure. Did you... We got you in the server, right? In the Minecraft server? I've, you were... I've been in the server before, yeah. Lurks over here. Hey! My... <laughs> my... Th re what is this? My... Th me. Re it's me. Oh, it is it's mine. Me. Sorry, I was looking at the uh, at the Twitch stream instead of the restream. Once I look open the restream, I saw the picture. Um, yes. The aggressive. 
Aries would love that. Okay, cool. Those are the announcements. That's all I have. Uh, so far in gods. I love the first two sentences of this section. Uh, let me just scroll down a little bit so we can get... Nope, that was too far. I was hoping that'd be right at the top there. I love... Po polytheism is an open system. The tradition which defines the cults of the gods has its authority, after all, only within the closed group that is inevitably called in question every time uh, it, by every contact with foreigners. And I just love that it's like, yeah, the people... It, it's open, you know, but the people who are in the groups know all the little traditions and stuff. Because I know we've talked about that on the server a bunch. I think... I think a lot of people get surprised when they hear about uh, the foreign gods. That, oh, you know, Dio just popped in here. And apparently so did a few others that I didn't realize. Um, that was very surprising to me when I started learning and worshiping um did, did you guys know that before or uh before you started worshiping the deities or was that something that was new to you and surprising as well i'm just curious <laughs> well i was a student of history before i joined the religion so okay, of course. I don't know why aphrodite I don't know. is yeah. rather famously from babylon Yes, we, we talked about that, I think, in the section we did Aphrodite. Um, I should have known that answer to that question, but it's good that we had it on stream. <laughs> I know you're a big history buff. Uh, what about um, Menelaus? Did you, I, I, you're very well versed in history as well. I'm not. We all know that. What's up? What was the question? Oh, I wanted to know if you knew about some of the deities, uh, if you knew about the fact there were foreign deities before you started worshipping, or was that a surprise that you had to learn along the way? I kind of knew because there's so much there's so much intercommunication and influence between the cultures of the Eastern Mediterranean that it's expected. Um, and so it's yeah, I, I knew that there was a lot that kind of influenced each other. Like, the best one is probably like Inanna, or Ishtar becoming yeah. Aphrodite. I think we've talked about a lot. And so. I'm just going to put those down in, in the notes as. Uh, because that's a really good example. We talked about that. We def I, remember, I remember us mentioning Ishtar um, at some point. I think the only reason that we talk about Aphrodite so much is because of her ever enduring popularity. She is really popular. And I mean, you know what? Love is awesome. <laughs> However. I would love to see, I would love to see some love to some of the other deities as well. Hestia, Hestia and Demeter are on my, on my list of deities that don't get enough attention. I think Hephaestus definitely makes it on there, in my opinion, too. Great. Yeah. Um, I love the sentence that, where is it? The assumption that the gods hold sway everywhere. Any... Yeah, the, it's like the, oh, it's literally the next, next sentence. There is, of course, the already assumption that the same gods hold sway everywhere. Um, and, of course, we know that's not true, as they go on to talk about, because um, we've mentioned it a bunch before. I think the best example is Athena and Poseidon um, and their beef about Athens of okay who's going to be the patron and both were valid in their claims especially I think which is my point of the examples Poseidon um, and we've talked about how Poseidon would be more popular with those who are fishermen and um, my brain's blanking you guys want to get another one <laughs> um, Demeter Demeter would be popular with farmers so We've talked about, I think, a bunch on not just Bookstream, but other streams about how there were some gods that were more important in certain areas because that's what people made their living. That's it. That's all I had on that one. <laughs> and... Yeah. Who your most important god is really does depend upon your internal cultural zeitgeist. What is important to you on a daily basis decides that. 
I have a it's question the, for the class. It's please. why kings. It's yeah. why kings hailed to Ila and Zeus more often than they did to say Poseidon. Mm-hmm. That's a good whereas, example. That's a whereas really merchant good example. And, yeah, whereas merchants were much friendlier with Apollo and so on. Why Apollo? I'm just curious on that one. I would have thought Hermes, right? And yes, and enemies. I gotta take my own camera off the things so I can't see myself. <laughs> um, otherwise I'll look to like double check my camera. Um, I think the king one was a really good one, actually, because that's something that is less obvious. That's a really good one. Um, whereas something like, like I mentioned would be super obvious. I think they mentioned that in the text, actually. But, uh, let's see, the experience. There was a thing I said I wanted to read the entire paragraph of it. I should have put exactly... Experience for the foreignness, um, but the the phrase that is that ex the experience of the far experience of the foreignness of foreign gods leads to the conclusion that certain gods are worshipped and powerful only in certain lands among their own peoples, um, which which is what we just talked about in contrast to the assumption that the gods hold sway everywhere. Although I do think the gods hold sway anywhere. I will put that on there. That that's UPG, but I think with the I vast... am of the opinion Yes that we are not the Hellenes, and in this case I mean the very dead ones from long yes. ago. Yep. And there is no reason to assume that the gods do not have power everywhere. Yes. Absolutely. Not being all powerful does not mean that they're not all present. I think it's one of those things like, uh, not only that, but also the fact, well, also the fact that we puny mortals may try to dare to understand how God things work, but we, we're just, we're, we're just trying to figure it out yeah, right. within our in the limited. Dark. Yeah. And, and we're trying to think of it in our boxes. Like we're not, we don't have the experience of somebody else or some other creature or being, so we can only experience life through a human perspective. And so we can only correlate things in a human way. And there may be things, um, for example, science, a lot of science stuff that my partner watches and we talk about. And he's like, well, we can only theorize this because, and, and uh, there's the, it's like they give this example of living in a 3D world versus like a 2D world. And you can only see stuff, you know, if we're going to use that example as the 2D world of us as opposed to a 3D world that it may be something of a higher power that understands more of the universe could see. Like, we, we are in our own little boxes. We try, but <laughs> I, I agree. I think they are, they can be all, did you say all seeing or all, all present? Is there, is there present, a yeah. Yes, I think that's a great phrase. I love that phrase. I don't think there's actually an omni for that, but I also don't care enough to look one up. Omnipresent. Is it omnipresent? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I think so. Um and I also have the idea that you know there I don't know if you guys are familiar with the phrase that like when you know your ears are burning someone's someone's talking about you. Someone's right? talking about you. Yeah. Right? And we we have this whole discussion that's happened I know many times in in the Hellenic community of should we name our pets after gods? Because the idea is that the more you, you know, you say their name, they're listening for their name, right? Like, I'm looking at this way. the Romans and the Greeks named their children after the gods. Oh, so, that's bold. Why, why not? I agree. Why not? Um, my dog, uh, my dog, my cat is named uh, Dionysus. We call him Dino, obviously. Um, but uh, I agree. But um, in, in, the, in the spirit of the idea that they... Or is it golly something with the certain gods? Um, that they may be all hearing. My brain has died on the phrasing for this, but that they they know when they're being talked about. I think I think <laughs> I think their perception is probably better than ours. Um, but I, I agree. I think we should we shouldn't have a problem naming our pets and our kids. Although that's bold, naming your child after a god. In my yeah, opinion. don't please don't name your your children after gods yeah, it expects that's... too much of them you know what i agree with that too i agree with that 
hundred percent. I was named after somebody, and I always felt that I had to be held up to a higher standard because of that. Um, and that was a human, I mean, so. Psh. And you're also named after a god. That's right. We keep forgetting that. I keep having. To... <laughs> uh, it's certainly better, I think, than who I was named after. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that, that was, that was kind of the take that I was uh, bringing up with that point of the paragraph. Um, I love the next bit of that, the respect, where can I find this anywhere here so that I can please, I'm trying to make sure I highlight things on the actual pages and I'm not having a good time finding it on the, just copy this. Um, the sentence was respect is therefore shown for the native gods of a foreign country. Um, oh, well, that's three. So it must be up further. Here it is. Uh, but the identity expressed by one's own, one's own, own gods is not forgotten. I love this because don't we have a Delphic maxim that says know when you're a stranger? I love the fact that I also remembered that off the top of my head. Um, Something like that, yeah. Yeah, um, and and the I, I actually just recently had to talk to someone about this, which is that you know when you're a guest, for example, in a foreign country, we 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 should give respect. You're in someone else's house. Wipe your feet at the mat, say hi to the family, and then go sit down for dinner. Um, right? That was where should I put that? Yeah, but, pretty much. But, Right, yeah, it's it's have a little respect, but that doesn't mean that you forget where you came from and who you have dinner with every day, right? And I love that that was mentioned in this more, more so than than the idea of it. I love that it was mentioned. Um, and they gave an example: uh, an Arcadian will celebrate the Lycia festival even when in Asia Minor. Um, where different festivals are celebrated side by side in this way, it must, if there is any close contact at all, lead to the mutual influence. Sorry, let me just actually highlight this. As well as to the opportunities for all kinds of productful misunderstandings. I was going to ask how other, how anyone else perceived that or understood that sentence. Predi particularly the productive, the yeah, that yeah, bit. A productive misunderstanding is one that you both walk away from without punching one another. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Um, no, that's cynical, don't like that. <laughs> well, you don't walk away punching each other? I feel like this, uh, that's not a bad ending. Uh, it's not. But it's not an optimistic one either. It's not. I'm wondering if, if what they're trying to talk about is is the discourse um, and the, the sharing of celebrations. Because that's where I feel like, based off of the previous sentences, where he's getting well, to. Not to throw shade at the Nazarenes, as I usually do, but yes. in, in the old religions, all of them, not just the Greeks, but also the Romans and the Etruscans and further beyond. Mm-hmm. When there was a, bluntly put, grand rituals were parties. They were celebrations. You <laughs> celebrate at a celebration. Everybody does. Yeah, I think that's probably how they stopped fights. <laughs> Enough celebrate. I mean, you, you gotta be in a good mood. Um, I mean, you can con. You can con. con bleh, hold on, I can English. I swear. You can contrast that directly with the succeeding religious order, which encouraged heterogeneity homogeneity and we, sameness to a certain degree yeah we're gonna actually get to that but yeah exactly continue which uh saw a not a death but a transformation to a more muted take toward religion yeah and of course the uh, a, a core principle not in its literature but in its practice of christianity is to abhor and loathe everybody who has a different god. Yeah, and more, exactly. If you're not if you're not part of this group, then then you're part of that group. Um, yep. And and I mean, a when you're not throwing parties, people are not going to be in as good of a mood. And b when you're you know you're not encouraging that kind of celebrated different festivals side by side. I love that. That was like I read that and I was like, that is the dream. <laughs> like. 
that is the dream for us to just be chill. But if you're not encouraging that, if you're not doing that and showing that physically that it's okay to have these other festivals and other beliefs, essentially, by proxy, uh, side by side with yours and respect it just as much, then you're going to create that atmosphere of the polar opposite of us versus them. And it's fucking stupid. <laughs> yes, it is. And it leads to no more parties. Be polytheist. Have parties. We need more parties. Yes. <laughs> um, there, it actually mentions that, like, literally, here we are. There are, moreover, forms of religion whose adherents travel about prophet, pro, proselytizing. Uh, and although this practice is regarded as alien and suspicious by Greeks, these movements can very easily overcome the boundaries of states and languages. So... Um, there aren't a ton of religions that I know of that go around pro proselytizing. I yeah, certainly to haven't a certain finished. Degree. I, oh. Go ahead. <laughs> I just had a joke. It was dumb. Please, to a certain degree, yes. To a certain degree, every religion proselytizes. To a certain yes. degree, because yes. everybody wants the story of their god or gods told. I don't think we do. I'm going to be honest. I was never approached by because any... we discourage it. Yeah, Because we, we discourage actively it. discourage it. I mean, I want a pamphlet. <laughs> that was one of the first Printing things we did. Printing cost money. Huh? Printing cost money. Oh, I mean, I, I mean... To, I mean, if you want to talk about it, I already thought about it. Just do a downloadable pamphlet. <laughs> Works too. Um, Luckily, we exist in the era of the internet. I love, I love that we do exist in the era of the internet. I really do. Um, we were just playing VR before this, and obviously, I now can do things on the internet more. I've learned so much through through all this, the the work and stuff that we've done with Elena Carroll. I really have. It's brilliant. Um, and then I, I also get to I, like I wouldn't have been able to talk to you guys, you peoples. Sorry. Um, without the internet. I mean, you're from California. I'm aware that it's gender neutral. I know. I'm just trying to be nice, and try and trying to remember. Uh, it's also good for old dogs to new learn tricks. Uh, to <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Um, did I say that right or did I say it backwards? Because my brain. You said it backwards. <laughs> I'm totally clipping that. Where's my... St Hold on, I have a thing for this. It's an app. <laughs> um, manage, pull, read. Clip that. There we go. I clipped it. I don't know what that did, but I think it did the thing. Um, that was great. That was perfect. Uh, yes. So now that I've completely lost my... Where was I? Adonis! Adonis is next. There we go. That was uh, the dying cult, uh, the cult of the dying god Adonis. I know nothing about this, you guys. I was like, what? Don't worry, neither do I. I was like, there was a cult for Adonis? Also, why is he a dying god? Like, my immediate thing was, is he okay? Like, I I've never heard this story. Um, okay, so you don't know, Astrid. Menelaus, you're our last hope. Your last hope. Yep. About what story? You know, the dying, uh, the dying god Adonis. Yeah. So that was um, he was a god that was associated with Aphrodite, and he mm -hmm. died, and like, um, she mourned his death. Let's just drop the the Thayi link so people can actually read it rather than. Oh yeah, that's great. I think I have them as a. Oh wait, hold on. How do you spell that? <laughs> T-H-A-D-O-N-I-S. What? A-D-O-N-I-S. Okay, that is not the, the website that I thought we were talking about. Uh, 
I think I did something wrong. <laughs> Do you have the link, Menelius, you were talking about? Yeah, I just pasted it in uh, VC text chat and also. Oh, in the notes. VC. Great. I got it. I'll post it in the. Uh... It is. It's the. Fe. Fe. You. I just want to see if the if this thing works that I did. Yes. Okay. If I ever remember how to spell fe fe, however we say that word, um, we have a a command for it that just automatically pops up the the main link, not the specific one that we just posted that has to do with this with the cult of Adonis. <clears throat> so why do? Why did Adon is it did Adonis just get a cult because Aphrodite? Like I feel like I also feel like I need to move my camera a little bit. Came from the east, I'm pretty sure. It came from like an eastern story. Well, I'm I'm just curious if why why is no other phrases? Is there any other uh people in which Aphrodite was smitten with that Got a cult, or, or is it just Adonis? Well, Adonis was already a god when he arrived in Greece. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he didn't have a cult until after being sure associated? He sure huh? he did. He did? Among the Khanites, just not as Adonis. Ah, I see. I see. So it, it just it got carried over, is what we're thinking. I imagine that it changed significantly, considering, you know, region, language, etc., but, yeah. That makes sense. And I they do mention the cult in Biblos. Is it, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to say that that way. Um, is known only from the late Greek reports. So there, there are a couple of locations. And they talk about it here. Old Testament prophets speak of it as an abomination. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so there's a few references to the cult. And I do... Uh, that was I think those are the only references to the locations of the cult, actually. Yeah, I think they were all in this paragraph. Um, so Adonis died, and then... What did Adonis die as? I don't, I don't know anything about Adonis. Uh, was Adonis a deity? Can I ask you guys to give me the Loma down? Was was Adonis a deity before he died or after? Well, did he become one. Good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Because I, I know that there are water. some that that happened to some people. Yeah, Heracles comes to mind. Mm hmm. Oh, I was That's trying to think of one besides. Death. Besides Heracles, <laughs> I couldn't think of one. Um, yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't say that here. It it does give a really nice um, recount of what happened at the celebrations with the cult of Adonis, which I do appreciate. Um, yeah. It, and do you guys have any thoughts on Adonis besides that? I mostly know the word uh, mm -hmm. in its mm -hmm. modern context, which basically just means attractive male of the species, bluntly put. Mm -hmm. They did mention the etymology, yeah. I believe. Adon itself is part of a title for, well, Adonai Elohim. You know, Shem, God. God, uh, yeah, that they, one. The I think one. they mentioned that... Uh... The very Adon lonely and, God. Uh, uh, the title, uh, the Semitic title, Adon, is which means Lord. Yes, they did mention yeah. it. Is this said Semitic? I don't know. I just Semitic. 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 It, it's Semitic. It's not the same as Semitic, right? It's, I don't. I think it is the same. It is. Oh, okay. Semitic. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Um, I didn't. Let me see here. Oh my god! In order to fit the things on the screen, I had to I have to shrink it. So now I'm fucking blind. <laughs> um. 
you know what? Um, I missed a bit. I was going to talk about this. The Greek pantheon is not immutable. But any other thoughts on Adonis before I decide to jump back to that? I have a, very, I have a picture. Um, I think I posted like a year ago. But my grandmother has a beautiful, like, not a painting. It's like almost like an embroidery of, of Aphrodite and Adonis. Aww, that's so sweet. That's really pretty. You're like, that's a nice... I love that. I love that it's not just a painting, too. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, I actually also found one more thing on Adonis. If you find that, if you find the picture, you should totally post it. Because that'd be super cool. In the Discord. Good plug. Um, uh, there's a juxtaposition again. This is like my favorite word. Um, it says in Greece, I'll just read it from my, from the notes in Greece, the special function of the Adonis cult is as an opportunity for the unbridled expression of emotion in the strictly circumscribed life of women. In contrast to the rigid order of pol police and family with the official women's festivals in honor of Demeter. I love that. I also love that it's the unbridled expression of emotion. That's... I think we need more of that <laughs> in in our festivals. But I love the contrast, and I love that, like, Hellenism is filled with that duality. I think we... I think that's the one thing that we keep mentioning, actually, in the book club. Um... Let me see if I can actually find it. Nope. Let's see. And did you... I didn't really think of that. Like, I, if someone had asked me about what... Um, I didn't know anything about the Adonis cults uh, festivals. But if someone were like, oh... What were what would you say the festivals the the vibe if you will the festivals for Demeter as opposed to Adonis or any other deity? Um, I'm sure there's lots of contrast in the celebrations. Uh, I know there is, but I never really thought of it like that until they mentioned it in this sentence. And I don't know what all the different festivals you guys have been to or or rituals you guys have been to. Y'all have been. To, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come back to saying y'all. Um, but that was just so interesting to me. I did want to talk about the um, the Greek pantheon not being immutable, which I thought you guys like y'all would be interested about because I, <laughs> I had to look up the word immutable. Uh, but I love that they mention that. And I know that's something that we've talked about a bunch before. So they give credit to that, to epic art. Um, and of course, that we, we we're literally talking about deities that, that arrived later, if we will. And uh, I... That was it. I just I just thought that was really interesting. And I was going to open it to anyone else's thoughts. Sorry, whenever I don't talk, I have a little theme song in my head. <laughs> that just tells me, I just go, do, 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 just to give someone else time to talk, because I know there's a lag. So, no worries, Astrid. Uh, but did you have any thoughts on that, Menelaus, at all? Or, no, I don't have anything. Yeah, I know, it's like a lot of this stuff that they're just laying out as, like, fact. Which, to be fair, it's an educational textbook. But, like, I just want yeah. to open the floor to thoughts. Uh, so, in the in the reference of that juxtaposition between a, the Cult of Adonis and the Demeter festivals, they do that in a very nice way of sliding us into Demeter. Which I did not know was a foreign deity. Um, and they also mention, <laughs> they say it really, I'm not great. They're like, Demeter doesn't really fit in the Pantheon. I'm like, I'm sorry, excuse you. 
Um, let me see if I can find that section. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, they first talk about the cult of Demeter. Hey, Firebird, it's going great. We're talking about Demeter, goddess of harvest. Do you know, have you heard of our Lord and Savior Demeter? Sorry, we just talked about proselytizing. Um, as our great mother, as the text says. Um, but I love the, the, I love how he always gives the etymolo et etym etymology, right? Yes, yes. I sound like a five-year-old. Um, and they talk about it in that Linear B tablet again. You heard her, awesome. Yeah, we're talking about the history of some of the foreign gods within the Greek pantheon, which apparently Demeter is one. I'm sorry, Menelaus, I'm responding to the um, to the chat. So just so you know. Oh, the... Yeah, the Twitch yeah, chat. Right. Sorry. <laughs> if I start suddenly talking to someone that no one has said anything, that's what's going on. Um, they mention her, though, in here. I went, I totally, like, zoomed past the etymology. Like, I was like, I do not care. Um, I should care more. But the thing that was interesting to me, uh, the dem I'm going to just try to find the, with the phrase here, the mother does not fit easily. Oh, there it is. Literally at the bottom of the page I just said. So the mother does not fit easily into the ge genealogical system of Greek mythology. For Homer and Hestoid, Hestoid, there is a mother of Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, and some of the other individually named gods. She is called, um, is it Rhea? Is that Ray, Ray? Is that just another name? I think Rhea is the mother of Zeus, Hera, Poseidon. And I, I also thought she was the mother of Demeter. I didn't... Mm -hmm. um, but it says that Meter is celebrated with a cult however is the mother of all gods and, and so I guess so Demeter's cult celebrates Demeter as the mother of all gods and man uh, and doubtless mother of the animals and all life as well I feel like we're getting Demeter crossed with Gaia do you get those vibes at all Menelaus? Firebird. Yeah, in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, they kind of like she kind of inherited from Rhea, who inherited from Gaia. I think is the way I think about it. You know it. what? I love that. Like, like an eye color skipping a generation. <laughs> you know, you know. Instead of having blue eyes, honey, here's your omnipotent power over Earth <laughs> and all of its creatures. Um, but yeah, I I didn't think of that actually. That's a really good that it, that she inherited it. Yeah, that's what I learned. In, I think that's a lot of what a lot of people learned in school. What? How much credit, Menelaus, do you think are we putting the idea of... Do, I, I never heard of Demeter being Zeus's mother. No, I never heard that either. I always heard her as Zeus's sister. Yeah, me too. And I'm wondering, I feel like Astrid might have some info. Probably B would probably have some uh -huh. in more in-depth info as, as there are more his, history buffs, at least than me. You, you and you and and Astrid and, and B can go play trivia together, Menelaus, and figure out which one he was the most <laughs> knowledgeable. What am I figuring out? Oh, um, so we're talking about Demeter. Uh, in in the passage here on page two fifty four, it says, uh, the mother Demeter we're talking about does not fit easily into the geo genealo genealogical system system of Greek mythology. Um, from Homer and Hestoid, there is a mother of Zeus, Hera, and Poseidon, and she's Rhea. Um, but Demeter as Meter, which is, I guess, the, is part of the, where it starts off with the etymology. Um, and Meter is celebrated with a cult, is the mother of all gods and men, and a doubtless mother of animals and all life as well. And so we were just discussing, look, I didn't, I've never heard of the idea of Demeter being Zeus's mom. And uh, Menelaus made the really good note of that, like, maybe Demeter got it from Rhea, who got it from Gaia. You know, the power of, like, spring, of, you know, um, plants and life, etc. Um, and I was wanting to that know if, if you think... Sense. 
Huh? No, that totally makes sense. Yeah. That would make sense, yes. Um Well my question but... is is the thing about her being the mum of Zeus? Because they do mention when Demeter, Qua Meter, became the mother of Zeus as well, then the siring of Persephone was transformed into an act of incest, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I've never heard anything about Demeter being the mother of Zeus. Because that myth wasn't as popular. Is it? Is it more academically backed and credible? Do you know? Because I... I, I do know. not know, but... <laughs> My general approach to alternative tellings of the various myths of any tradition is which ones are older, and of those, which ones have survived? True. Well, that's what they're mentioning that the, um, <laughs> they mentioned it like Linear B or something like three seconds ago. Um, offerings for, I, uh, they're also mentioning that we there's. We haven't, we haven't. No. Hmm. We have a Linear B was one of the alphabets used by the Minoans. We don't know what it says. Yeah, they reference it a lot in this text. Um, they re reference oh, it several times. And and to be also fair, B told us when we first started this that there's some information, particularly about the Minoans and Mycenaeans, that she had that there was much newer information prior to the print uh, or information that is known that was not prior to whatever when this was made printing to be fair this book is from the 80s right it's been 40 so. years yeah i think so um so uh another where's where's my notes where's the questions for b i'm gonna just put in right here ask b <laughs> in the notes and i'm gonna bold it um and see if she knows anything about, you know, the, the tradition being intertwined with, you know, a divine mother and that being the reference of Demeter because they're saying, I mean, hmm. I know, right? Like, it's like, I can see this being possible, but also this is super confusing and not something I've heard before. So. Hmm. At the same I mean, time, a lot of... Quarter like, Koray is her daughter by Zeus in pretty much all of the stories. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far as I'm aware, like, that's his sister, not his mom. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what I thought. But as far as I'm aware, it means nothing because I am not all knowing. No, I've heard it, I've heard it as well um, as as the sisters, which which does bring into the story, as they're saying, that transforms the, the story as an act of incest. I should have trigger warning that, but I didn't. Sorry. Um, to be fair, everyone was supposed to have read this. <laughs> um, but... I feel that if you're here, yeah. and you're not already aware of all of the, um, shall we say, problematic elements of Hellenist uh, mythology, you need to go back and read the non-children books editions. <laughs> yeah. And also that we do have to understand that a majority of the, 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 the stories that we hear most often are sanitized for the general public and for, a, you know, all age consumption. Um, yeah. As well. So, and a lot of, I think what a lot of people, at least the, the entrance is no. learning... Do God like, no, do, do censors love to cut shit out? Yes, yeah. And, I mean, well, we can talk about all day as to whether or not it's a good idea, but... Uh, but that bit, uh, that bit was confusing to me. Um, and I think we need, as you, as you mentioned, Astrid, more, more information. More recent... It, more recent or updated information as well as taking into consideration what has survived and why. Um, Indeed. Because some of the whys are not good. So, let's see. 255, the celebration. Wow, I completely messed up that, that number when I wrote that page number, 253. Um, they talked about the celebration. There's also a trigger warning here. Uh, I just wrote down trigger warning for some reason. I don't know why. 
I don't know much about the Greek gods and goddesses, but one thing I do, I'm, I'm reading Firebird's message. I don't know much about the Greek gods, goddesses, but one thing I do know is that they have a rather complicated, they do have a very complicated family tree. Yes. Yes, yes, yes they do. Um, yeah, that's, that, that actually is discussed in, in previous book clubs. And I, I, I think we pretty much probably discussed the it. Family every family tree single of the Taoi is <laughs> as convoluted Taoi. as a knotted bush. That's why I keep having problems with that word. It sounds nothing like how it's spelled. <laughs> okay. That's why I keep having trouble with that word. Thank you for saying that, Astrid. Um, Which word? Th Theoi. Uh, I probably fucked it up because I don't speak Greek. Menelaus does. Ask him. Yes, Adam, sorry. It is Thay, but Theoi is fine. They. They, that's the T H E I O. Like in modern right? Greek, it's like the O I is uh, E sound, but oh, no. in ancient Greek, it was like an O I sound. I'm pretty sure. Got it. Got it. All right. Good night, Firebird. Thanks for popping in. Um. They, they, they say it again, Menelaus. They. They. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to remember it. I probably will forget. We, so both, we all know this. <laughs> I don't worry, I'll forget too because I'll relapse. <laughs> Old habits. So I'm, I'm pronouncing it in English, but I'm not pronouncing it in what would be considered proper English. I'm hardening the top of the T too much, and I'm softening the rest of the word. Lingual yeah. things. L language is hard. Um... Language is hard. That's why we invented writing, so that we didn't have to remember all the sounds we made right uh i want yeah i think i want that's 255 254 it was the uh, so 254 um there's this amazing celebration for demeter or meter talked about including rousing music which we only which we we're very sad because a lot of the music got lost um or destroyed but they're talking about i don't know why they say the shrill sound of the flute why that's so mean um so, so I, I played sound. the flute f for a bit, so that was. And it is a shrill sound, as in loud and piercing. Ah, yes, yeah, shrill is usually not nice, we used, but yes, loud and piercing, absolutely it is. Um, and drums and brass cymbals and they were people were supposedly possessed in some way, and it's just a really really great description. Um. Of festivities, I, uh, Walter Burkhart, as we've talked about, seems to, to definitely understand and have a, some reverence for the religion, which definitely emanates in the writing and discussion of the activities and the the scenery that is painted when discussing the rituals and celebrations. And I, I always want to bring highlight to that because we need more of that. <laughs> <laughs> from 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 writings about the gods um that's all i had for demeter did you guys have any other thoughts about demeter and the etymology the cult all all of that I'm going to get a sound to play when I open floor. Yeah. I, I do the, I do the, da, 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 like in my head every time. We would get sued. Oh. We would get sued. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the theme goes to. <laughs> I'll pick a different song. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's in my head. Because it's usually like enough time for lag to finish. Um, I, I feel when it comes to the entomology of the names of the gods, it's just usually very basic because they're giving a word to a being that they uh, directly associate with something physical. Yeah. Like they're giving the name, they're giving a name to a rock, for instance. Yes. 
and thus the name of the god and the name of the rock is rock. That, I think, yeah, and I, I mean, especially when considering Demeter, I think that's something that to, to take into consideration. Hi. <gasps> you brought me the tea. Thank you. And my cell phone. Truly knows what, what matters in the world. Um, yeah, especially when it comes to like uh, Demeter and, and other deities that are associated with, um, I think, nature as well. I think that's very much an important thing to take into consideration. Does anyone think Demeter has a different name? Because that, cause that's like, we gave that, right? Like, just like you said, Astrid. I reckon that all things have names that men do not know. Ooh, Perf. I like that. It's a great quote. Excuse me while I just go and press that clip button again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna have fun with that. Um, I think it. I think it saves like the last one minute of things. So I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, right. I mean, with that's a fantastic way to just. Yeah. So next thing, we have other gods who um, are associated. They mention it. I don't know a fi <laughs> P H R Y G A N. I don't know how to say that word. Free, free, Phrygian, free, free, Phrygian. Free, I feel like I'm Armenian. I should be able to say this word. Phrygian. That doesn't sound right. Sounds like I Armenianized no, it. it. <laughs> Sounds like I Armenianized it. Well, the I A N in Armenian is um, is literally said Ian. So, like, one of my oh. relatives' last name is Gorgian. And I have learned a thing. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know that that's helpful in the pronunciation of this at all. But anyway, there's a god, Sabazios. <laughs> I probably killed that one too. Um, who said a, who said side by side with Dionysus, um, or, or Dionysus, uh, in his appearance in Athens in the fifth century? So I think that this one is interesting because they mentioned um, a god that we we haven't talked about in the text at this juncture, not that I remember at least. Um, I do you guys recall this this Sabazios person? I do not. Sabazios. Thank you. Sabazios. I did think I was saying it wrong. Yeah, have we encountered a reference to this deity before in relation to Dionysus? I've heard that before, and I've heard an interesting one that um, <clears throat> they actually also associate uh, Sabazios with Yahweh, like the Jewish god or mm. Christian god. Uh, and so... Please. So, regarding that, just as a cultural annotation, please don't compare uh, the Jewish God and the Christian God. They are wholly distinct beings. I have heard that. Yes. Yes, correct. I guess that's fair, yeah. As a Jew, Good I point. assure you, they are wholly distinct beings. I keep forgetting that you're Jewish. Um, they don't scream very loudly at no one. <laughs> I've never heard a Jewish person scream loudly at somebody, but at the same time, I have heard a lot of people scream loudly, and I just very don't know mean, if they're scarier Jewish. Type. <laughs> it's a very mean, scarier type. That's that so mean. <laughs> well, I've never, I'm, I'm very glad I've never heard that, that stereotype. But I'm also sad that that's a stereotype. It seems oh. stereotype. They do that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they are. Yeah, no, they are entirely different being different. Uh, are we saying different beings? Is that or, or do you refer? Do you see those two as different people or different interpretations of the same person? I see them as wholly distinct beings. Got it. I will take you as the authority. Um, there is Shem, and then there is God, the Christian one. Oh, so you they're you, not the same being so they they have different names as well brilliant well they 
God in Judaism does have a name, but we don't use it. Oh, that women! I know that. I remember that. Um, very vaguely. Uh, okay. So, so there has been anyway. So there has been other comparisons. Um, and I know that some people have. Oh, comparisons are fine, just not between those specific. I'm sorry, deities. correlations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, to, to to Dionysus, I've heard Dionysus as uh, as a representation of Christ as well. Dionysus gets compared to so many gods. To be fair, his story is really confusing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of and. Um, <sighs> And there is the fact that there can be similar events that may be the same event, but also may not be the same event. But they are just similar events. Um, like the double birth or the, the death and, and rebirth. Yeah, but a lot of gods have that. Osiris of, has that. Yes, a lot of gods have that. A lot. I, I don't know why we decided to make some correlations with some and not others, but... I didn't make oh, don't sense. worry. I'm I'm sure that the comedics have to deal with people comparing Osiris to Christ too. Oh, I'm sure. So it works out. <laughs> um, there was also another one, the Oracle God. It's the last god mentioned in this section, which is the Oracle God Ammon from the Oasis of Siwa. That's probably wrong. Um it was known at an at a early day uh I'm just gonna read it was known at an early date, doubtless through the Greek colony of hmm, Cream, Cream, whatever. Um, and they also mentioned about the Egyptian gods, uh, Isis and Osiris, were also re uh, compared. It's, uh, it, it got squished. Uh, but they were known not least from Herod Herodotus, but their cult did not spread beyond Egypt and the Egyptians until the Hellenistic Hellenistic period. Um, so we've got they they just kind of stuck these guys in there last bit. So I wanted to see if anyone knew because I I know nothing of Isis and Osiris being correlated with any Hellenic gods. I know the names and a few of the stories, but yeah. that's about it. We gotta get some of our peoples to come in and do like workshops. That's what we need. Uh -huh. um, ooh, drunk stories of mythology. Ew. Yes. <laughs> drunk history. I'm down for that when I'm not feeling <laughs> sick so I can get drunk. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, but it would be good to just have people come in and 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 we we could do some one-offs of people telling the stories uh particularly maybe worshipers of that deity i think that'd be really cool um talk about showing that reverence that we're seeing here that would be fantastic all right i didn't yeah uh, sorry go ahead astrid oh no i quite agree that's not a bad idea maybe just less drunk more tipsy <laughs> maybe uh, <fact> -checked. <laughs> i don't drink so Oh, well, if you don't drink, then of course. Yeah. That does not mean that I have not drank myself stupid with tea. Or eggnog before. <laughs> Eggnog's great. Um, I'm lactose lacto intolerant, so I get to have the, the less calorie eggnog, which is awesome. Um, genuinely, I do actually love it. Uh, but we can drink ourselves stupid on tea, and what's your preferred beverage, actually? I'm just curious. Oi? Say it again. Oh, I'm, I'm a tea drinker. <laughs> tea! Yeah! Tea buddies! We're gonna do high five. Just over the cam. Um, I don't know if you're also watching the stream again, Astrid. <laughs> I am. Good. <laughs> um, so next we have Damon, which I don't understand why... I, I, don't, I don't know who is the stronger one. They mention here the gods the thick. Th they yes Menelaus is that which one sorry they, 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 yeah yes yep look 30 seconds later I still remembered it um <laughs> the, the the gods arc shaped uh, me, arc many shaped and beyond number from the term th the, oof, but the terms that 
Theos. I don't know if that's th whatever. Alone Theos is like a singular, yeah. Oh, so wait, the plural one is singular. The plural is Theos, the singular, or the plural is Thei, the singular is Theos. That is exact. Yes, that the one with the S is is singular. Awesome, so easy to remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, alone is insufficient to comprehend the stronger ones. What? Are the stronger ones the gods, or are they talking about... Yes, that is, yes, that is what is being said. Okay. Because for a second when I was reading it, I like I put a note thing, and I'm like, what is this? Um, sometimes I feel like the writing, I think it may, because it's an educational text, is a little bit more confusing than, especially for me, than <laughs> some other texts. Um but so the, uh, they obviously mentioned that it survived to, to present day and um, we every month as Hellenists, one of the days is dedicated toward our daemon, um, which I believe if I am in, if I remember correctly, is basically like your own personal spirit that like, or uh, to put it in Christian terms, that's our guardian angel. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know what? Yeah. Guardian is so much better, Astrid. Thank you. <clears throat> Yes. And then we just, we take that so day to The got the idea from. <laughs> I mean, it's a great idea. I don't know where mine is. I think they're just, you know, taking a break and forgot what Mine's year it is. I'm on holiday. <laughs> I know, right? Wait a minute. Where were all the demons during 2020? On permanent holiday. <laughs> on vacation. Yeah, there we go. They got a vacation the one year. Someone should make that into a TikTok. Um, so... The motion, obviously, it it says here, the notion has proved so useful. <clears throat> I should probably go back. Um, notion of demon as a lowly spiritual being of predominantly dangerous and evil character emanated from Plato and his pupil. And the notion proved so useful that it was, that it is still impossible to imagine the description of the popular. Yeah, demon, demon is basically it's telling about where the bad rap came from. So, if you want someone Walking to blame, Platonist, as blame usual. Plato. <laughs> blame Plato. Um, and as we mentioned, yes, it's been carried over to many religions. Um, as Astrid said, the guardian angel. Um, which, I mean, I like that, you know, the idea is still around, but it's it's kind of sad that the OG word Say that is now... the word is still around, not really the idea well, the idea is around of of a, of your of someone watching over you, but like yeah, that pervaded it. That yeah, that, I mean, which is a great notion, but at the same time, it's sad to see that the roots of which have been now associated, as we've seen many many times, uh, through popular or forced popular uh, be belief, understanding, whatever, that it is now that Damon is now demon, and it's a bad thing. Which well, mostly it's just lingual shift. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, Diamond but, but I mean, was translated into presumably Latin first, and then it made its way to English, and that's where we're that's we've been stuck with that spelling ever since. Yeah, with this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If we could introduce it as a as the different as the original spelling instead of demon into in daemon, the, the AI, I think that that would be a nice way to change that. And have it have the, the correct reputation. Uh, but Plato! We should make a thing that goes, Darn Plato! And have it as a... Plato, I'm a Ristelian. I have a... I have keys that I can make things happen with now. So I need... <laughs> we'll figure out something like that to, to use. I think I already have one that I clipped of you, Astrid. And I have to check with you about it. Um, like a Who sound... Cares? I can't remember what it was. It's definitely one of the clips on the Twitch channel. Um, I just thought it was really entertaining. I don't remember what it was. Um, but let's see. Uh, the, 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 the Damon. What else did I want to bring out from this? Or is there any thoughts on 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 the on our on the on Damon and the etymology and our uses on it while I'm scrolling through and trying to find what I was going to comment on? Oh, here was here was, the gods assembled on Mount Olympus can be called, daemons as well. 
um, didn't know this? <coughs> Hashtag confused. Um, I got the, the understanding of the de of a hero maybe rushing headlong like a daemon and still be called, whatever. I, I got that turn of phrase. But I did not understand, I didn't know that we, that the group of the gods being assembled is called daemons. And I wonder why. If it's a, if it is a specific spirit. But it does say that it, that it is, uh, the character is not defined. So. I hadn't heard about that before. Um, Nenelaus Astrid, have you, have you heard of that before? Because. I mean, the idea is for us to learn new things, but I'm just surprised. Now let me copy that one. Slash, clearly I don't remember a lot of the Iliad. Yeah. I've heard of before. Weird. Um, and so do we I guess this is like a turn of phrase that we can use, like someone's doing whatever like a like a daemon. Do we say daemon or do we say demon? A daemon. It is daemon. Okay, cool. I feel like if I start using that, I'm gonna get some questions. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean I do want to. <laughs> Uh, I'm actively trying to swear less, guys. Like, I, I, do, do you, do you, have you guys noticed? Like, good for you. My mom was in the army, so I'm at a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I always swear a lot. I try, I try my best to be, I clean it up because my daughter started repeating me. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> what did she say? She dropped the f bomb before. I she love says, it. Yeah, she says, oh shit, a bunch. Oh, that is your hilarious. fault entirely. <laughs> that's 100% my fault, yes. That's hilarious. I love it. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I think kids saying inappropriate things is hilarious, though. Uh, just in general. Yes. Okay. Fair. So anyway, so the reason I, I read that because because I'm trying to pick up other, make other creative things to say besides swearing. Because I might have to go to do some corporate meetings, so I'm going to be picking up the like a Damon, and then I'll I'll let I'll eventually start posting about the responses I get to that because that'll be hilarious. Um. So they mentioned that, and, and there's the phrase that we just talked about, like a hero may re may rush headlong like a Damon, and then I love again the juxtaposition, the contrast of uh the next part, which is talking about the the demons that fly from Pandora's jar. Uh, the the illnesses, um, but they're they're not called demons. So they do mention the death spirits, the carries, but they don't they don't say why they're not called um, demons and why they're called why they're referred to as illnesses or demons instead. Besides the fact that we want to call them bad, and I know nothing about it. They do mention that it doesn't. That it seems to be a very flexible, defined uh, word, which I just copied into the notes. The the dame and, and I'm highlighting on the stream. Damon's de, does not designate a specific class of divine being, uh, but a particular mode of activity. So, and they are not in, and Damon and Theos are not interchangeable. That's good to know because that part confused me. I'm glad I have my other notes up. So my. Menelaus, you said that you've heard of um, the gods being assembled on Mount Olympus called daemons. So, do you have any insight on why they're not interchangeable, but are used in the Iliad in this context? How that works? Because I not I, entirely. I forgot what exactly the reasoning was. I remember reading specifically it, and I thought it was like the daemons were like to say acting or something like that. I don't remember though exactly. I don't want to say something that's wrong, so. That, that kind what of tracks, yeah, yeah, that kind of tracks with the mode, with the, the fact that it's a mode of activity. The question is, what is the activity? Um, that kind of, that kind of goes with it. Does that make sense? 
That makes sense. Very good. I'm glad it's not just me. Sometimes I do misunderstand things, so I do genuinely uh, mean for you guys to be like, yes or no, that makes sense. Like, because I genuinely sometimes obviously also say, but also read things backwards, <laughs> and it doesn't make sense in my head. Um, so I do genuinely ask that question. Um, so we don't know why they're not interchangeable, but we, but we do see them being used. Um, and I'm actually going to copy that in here too. So, and of course, if anyone watching has any, uh, resources, commentary on these types of on the questions that we're asking it's always encouraged and and we love seeing the comments so do that um as we're finishing getting close to the end of this section here um so then they they talk about uh, another few examples as to how it's used but i didn't i don't see any any clear definition of these are the rules as to how it's used they're just there's uh, some examples here um i did want to note this thing daemon is a cult power a force that drives man forward where no agent can be named it's a better definition Short, it's a verb oh you're saying it's a verb like it's okay. something that is done not something that is well then, that's what that okay. sentence is explaining okay um Okay, I so I didn't read it like that. I thought that it was this is the spirit's power because you know how we talk about demons and, and celebrate them. I didn't read it as that it is a power. But why is no, it, it, is an, an, why is it, it is an action? An action. Sorry, it is a thing. It's a verb. A thing but, that is done. Then, then how do, how would you, how is it, I'm sorry, I'm highlighting things in the notes. Um, why is it a cult power? And what is it, what is... Cult power is just another way to say magic. It's oh. power, like okay. divine yeah. countenance and so on. I'm just going to put in the notes here because I will, I will forget that and have the same question later. Magic. So, Damon, we're saying Damon is a verb. Ooh. Um, what other word would we use in place of it? If you have a suggestion, Aster, that would make the use of it more understandable, I would say. I cannot conceive of a word in modern English yeah. that's capable yeah. of convey because that's the only language I speak at present. That's capable of the same usage. Yeah, because I. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's not really a good comparison. Like, it's there's a reason it was kind of pulled into English, more or less. That makes sense. No, it's not quite a demon because a demon, even though demons, I guess, aren't necessarily malicious. Like, it's got a malicious connotation. To it. Well, the... but that could be because of Christianity later. Well, no, they've always been malicious. Yeah, I thought the malicious was like Gakko Damon. Like, Demon with an E as opposed to an I has yeah. always been malicious. Your Christians didn't come up with yeah. that. They just added a lot more. Yeah, and that's what we're, we're saying, that Demon and Damon are, are different. Um, yeah. Uh, but, but the question is... Oops. <clears throat> is that it, it's it's used in these different ways, um, and they are also saying that it is basically, uh, they say that David is a cult power, a force that drives man forward where no agent can be named. And further on, they actually say the individual feels it as if that were a tide, it, as if that were, as if it were that the tide is within him, see, um, he, he acts with the daemon or else where everything turns against him. It, the text is so small, guys. Um, he stands against the daemon pro 
whatever, especially when there is a God favoring his adversary. So it's what drives him forward. It's in, and, and Astrid was saying it's a verb. <clears throat> so we're trying to look for something that I don't know a word. I don't even know a word in Armenian that would, and we have a lot of turns of phrase. Um, but I don't know. I'll have to think on as to what could be you. How 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 do we use the word, Damon? And probably post it in the Discord because we're gonna hit. It. We are hitting an hour and a half here. Um, sh I I have some other notes and stuff, and we have a few more pages. I didn't realize we weren't that far. Uh, I forgot the Damon section was kind of long. <clears throat> um, they do talk about the Agathos Damon. Um. And it talks about the, the the libation, the first libation um, at the Dionysus Sanctuary. That's where it is. Um, but is there any other thoughts on the daemon before we wrap up? Because we did have a few more pages that we didn't get to. And they talk a lot, again, more about the etymology, like a ton. Um so any other thoughts before? Because we are hitting an hour and a half, so. Not at this time. Awesome. Minelius? No, nothing else for me. Um, okay, great. Uh, I will definitely <clears throat> start that conversation on the Discord about how do we use the word daemon? <laughs> um, as, a, as a verb in, in modern day language. Because I think that's a real, I think that's a really good thing that that we could bring back once we figure out how to use it. Um, so thank thank you for joining me, Astrid. Thanks for joining as Menelaus as well. And let me just I posted in the chat, but let me go pull it up here because I already forgot within the next like last half hour okay so yeah what i said at the beginning the future book club next week will be uh chapter three section four the special character of greek anthropomorphism i didn't read ahead i don't know anything about this i'm very interested to find out and on the pdf is pages 260 to 269 and then we're gonna just we're just finishing off that chapter uh three last section before moving on to chapter four the dead heroes and the chthonic gods Ah, oh, good. We will finally get to the cult favorites. Yeah! I mean, we've been talking about the cults a lot, even as we've been going on here. Um, let me pull this up. But uh, Oh, no, I meant, the mo I meant the modern <clears throat> ones. Wait, who oh, the heroes? How oh, dare. The We're getting to the Catholic deities. They're the most popular ones in modernity. Really? You would think it, yes. At That's least in saying. certain areas. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, again, as we mentioned before, there some deities are worshipped more, or their cults are more in some areas. I suppose if you're a greedy capitalist, then hailing Pluton more often makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Do we have greedy capitalists telling this? I thought we were all broke. <laughs> uh, I mean, potentially. <laughs> I mean, I guarantee you the organ. Uh, I guarantee you the fascistic organizers aren't broke because they grief people. Fair. I'm just talking about Hellenism. <clears throat> oh my. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. Um, I think any greedy person's yeah sad. Um, but you are correct. I actually do have a um. No, Hades isn't chthonic. Is he? He's Catholic, yeah. Yeah, he is. The, so let's go to Hold on, wait, I had to remember. I got it. Hold on. Oronic and Catholic. I remembered. It just took a minute. <laughs> just the heart drives a little slow. I don't have a lot of RAM in here, okay? Um, But yeah, so we'll be talking about. I actually do have a, an altar to Hades as well as Hermes in my office because money. And gems and precious things. Huh? She's, point she's proving my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I am. I am proving your point. I am a greedy... I don't know if I'm a... I'm definitely not a capitalist. I'm definitely a... Um... 
I mean, no, you're not. You don't own the means of production, so you're not a capitalist. Oh, that's true. I don't. My friend Jim is, though. He he just got his production set up. <laughs> um, <coughs> anyway. Uh, so we're going to learn about Catholic gods. I feel like it's going to be at the end because of the way that they list the, the name. But that's not next week. Next week is section four, the special character of Greek anthropomorphism. So... Thank you for joining me. Uh, I shall you. let you go and do whatever it is that you go dinner or bed. I forgot where everyone's located. Um, but they, it's you know, only it's only ten o'clock. Oh, you're. I'm sick, so it's about time for me. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. And thank you for Take modding care. as well, Astrid. Of course. Bye. Yep. <laughs>